Hello, and welcome back to another edition of Carrie's Gardening Channel. So today is March the 14th, 2024, and I want to give you some tips in this video for uh, growing celosia, when to actually plant it outside, uh, what type of area to select for it. So all that's coming up in this video, so please stay tuned. So I have my celosia seedlings here, and uh, this is a mix between plume celosia and crested celosia. So you want to plant your celosia out after the last danger of frost has passed. Celosia does not like to be cold at all. It will not tolerate a frost and it definitely will not tolerate a freeze. So you want to make sure that the danger of frost is completely passed and gone before you go ahead and plant your celosia outside. You want to select an area in full sun. Celosia loves full sun. And you want to select an area with well-drained soil. So you don't want these standing in water. Celosia can get root rot, so you definitely do not want these standing in water. Now these here are ready to be transplanted, and they're going to be going into one of my uh, heated greenhouses. You can see the root systems here on these. Now um, another thing that you don't want to do with celosia when you transplant it is you want to try and minimize the disturbance to the root system. If you can transplant it without disturbing the root system at all, that would be the best thing that you could do because this does not like to have its roots disturbed. So um, I do have videos on my channel for transplanting celosia and I also have videos on my channel for how to start celosia from seed. So you can check that out on there. And there's a lot of different varieties of celosia. There is the plume celosia, there's a wheat type celosia, and there's a crested celosia. So there's definitely different ones to uh, choose from. You have ones that get real tall, you have ones that stay shorter. So you want to make sure that you're checking your uh, tags in your seed packs to make sure that you're getting the right variety for the area that you're growing it in. You want your tall ones, uh, you want to go with the taller celosia. Um, if you want like your shorter ones for like your little garden dishes and different things, then you want to go with the dwarf ones. Now this back here is a uh, plume celosia. And over here, this one here, this is the kumquat celosia here. I never grew that before. It's a crested celosia. And this one here, um, it's going to be brand new for me, but these were started all at the exact same time. And you can see here there are quite a bit of height differences between the plants. And these were started at the same time too. So different colors, different varieties will actually grow faster than others. Now these are all tall celosias here. I didn't start my dwarf one yet, I still have to start those. But um, we have see here. The Chief Mix is one of, um, I like this for the crests. This is a crested mix, the Chief Mix is. And I do have a video for that on my channel. I will have a, a thing for that at the end of the video that you can click on it and it'll take you right to that video. So you can check that out. But uh, we tried a few different varieties of uh, Celosia this year. Um, we're trying the uh, Indiana Giant. I've never grown that one before. And like I said, we have the Chief and um, we have our plume types here. But um, I also grow like the dwarf ones too. The coral, the dwarf coral mix is a beautiful, gorgeous celosia mix. It doesn't get very tall, but it's absolutely gorgeous. And it looks really pretty like in garden dishes and um, like your window boxes and different things. And now that is a uh, crested type celosia, which is also known as a brain type celosia. Another type of crested celosia that I like is the Kramer series. And I do have videos for that on my channel too. 
and uh, you can check that out. But um, that's a pretty one. They call that one the workhorse because it has so many blooms that it gives off of it. It blooms like multiple times off of your plants. Now, some crested celosias, I will tell you this, they will only bloom one time. So you want to make sure that like if you're using them for a flower farm or uh, for like your cutting garden, you get a variety that does continue to keep blooming. The Chief Series does continue to keep blooming. Um, the Red Velvet Crested Celosia does not. Uh, I found that out the hard way. I had one, um, I grew that one for a while for a flower show competition. And it was gorgeous, beautiful. I cut it down and it never came back and rebloomed. And I had left the foliage there so it could have, um, it, there was enough stem there where it could have branched off. But that's one that only blooms one time. So there is some uh, research that you have to do on some different varieties to find out what will work for what you want. But this is gorgeous when uh, you mix it with different plants and it's great for your cutting gardens if that's what you're looking for. So I hope that you found this video helpful. So if you liked my video, please like, comment, subscribe. Please don't forget to hit that little notification button that ties up a new video on. Also follow me on Twitter. I'll have a link down in the description for my Twitter account. Thank you for watching and I hope you have a nice day. Bye.